To find the slope of the line which passes through these two points, we're going to use this formula in red here. And we'll start off by using our y values. So we have 9 minus 6 over the corresponding x values. So 5 minus 8, which gets us 3 over negative 3, which we can simplify to be negative 1. So that's our slope. And now we can graph these points. So we're going to move to the right on the x-axis, 5 units. And then up 9. And then we're going to move to the right on the x-axis, 8 units. And then up 6 for our second point. And then we can go down 1, over 1. We can try that a couple times and see the trend that forms here. So then we can connect these points and clearly see that the slope of the line is negative 1.